the muffled rhythm of hoofbeats echoes in the quiet byways of the placid country that surrounds Aiken, South Carolina. For on these unpaved highways, the horse, the aristocrat of the animal world, holds undisputed sway. This tranquil region is the uncontested kingdom of the horse in America. Seldom are motor cars used, as there is only one paved road in the area. This domain of the horse has been established by many families whose names are recorded in the sports and social histories of America. The Hitchcocks, the Milburns, the Bostwicks, and the Harrimans. Here in the heart of the Deep South, they have set up a sanctuary for the horse. And their children are raised in the tradition of the hunt and the steeplechase. their lesson well, for riding is far more than just exercise or pastime to them. At home and at school, they're steeped in the legends of great horsemen, and the bridle paths are their roads to fame and to the Sunday road of reviewer section. They take the jumps like veteran cavalry troopers, as much at ease in the saddle as the best of the rough riders. Youngest in a line of famous horsemen, the three-year-old son of Tommy Hitchcock starts his life in the saddle. These sons and daughters of famous fox hunting and polo playing families receive Spartan training, learning four R's instead of three. In the Aiken colony, they're never too young to learn. And the routine is helpful, for it keeps these youngsters out of doors. At the horse capital of the South, taking the hurdles is as much a part of a child's daily life as a game of mumbly peg or jacks. And always, they are under the instructor's watchful eye. Professional jockeys and exercise boys give steeplechase horses their daily workouts, galloping them through the pine woods to muscle them for racing. The blood of thoroughbred racehorses pulses through the veins of these chargers. They're bred for endurance and speed to carry them in the flat. But high jumpers were among their ancestors. And as the breeders of fine horse flesh say, blood will tell. In the paddocks of the estate near Aiken, all sorts of horses relax and take time off from being specialty animals. Hunt and steeplechase horses, polo ponies, trotters, high jumpers, and proud show horses frolic and roll in the dust, just like their working cousins who pull plows or milk wagons. But now it's time for the hunt, for the thrilling chase across country. From all around the countryside, hunting enthusiasts are on their way. Some are merely spectators. Others are to join the chase at the meeting, where grooms will bring their mounts. All members of the Aiken set are attracted to this oldest of organized sports in America, dating from colonial days. This is to be a drag hunt, in which the scent of a fox, mixed with aniseed, is dragged beside the hunt course in a bag to give the line to the pack. In a drag hunt, the sport is in the riding, not in the kill. So it's yoinks and tally-ho. The hunt is underway. The dogs give tongue as they follow the scent of the drag. <laughs> Oh, 
The end of the chase is near, and some of America's finest mounts and hunt riders complete one of the really difficult courses in the land. It's the end of the trail for man and beast, and the dogs get their reward. Now for another thrill as proud trotters and pacers pull the graceful sulking. The development, training, and driving of harness horses calls for the most skill and art of all the accomplishments of the horsemen. In this haunt of horse lovers, women compete with the men on the trotting track. In recent years, women have been entered in official races and have made excellent showings both here and in the north. Patience and expert training are responsible for the development of good harness horses. The band just below the horse's eyes prevents his seeing his shadow on the track. But let's watch the grace and symmetry of these harness horses. A steady rein and a cool head in competition are needed to hold the horse at this gate. For if he breaks and goes into a gallop, he must be pulled back. The driver must estimate his speed at the turns with greatest accuracy, or too sharp a turn would spill the sulky. Now here's a slow motion study of the supple flow of rhythmic muscles, the perfectly coordinated gait that marks the pacer and sets him apart from all other horses. But the crowds are gathered for the Aiken Saturday matinee, with owners and trainers competing. And it's anybody's race as they thunder toward the first turn. Some of these men who train harness horses for members of the Aiken colony are the cream of race drivers. Many of them are among the most celebrated old-timers in the game. And they handle their horses with a master touch. With their sensitive hands on the reins, only the colt break for the well-schooled harness horse knows the feel of the trainer's mastery. This is the supreme test of the blue blood, hitting the pace that means keeping out in front, of never being beaten until the race is run, and then to try again. Aiken are some of the finest horses in the country. The hunters, the steeplechase mounts, and harness horses. Here in the greatest retreat of the horse in America, the entire community pays tribute to the aristocrat of the animal world. Whoa. 